favorite community partners. And then uh, after that, we'll have some announcements and shout outs and uh, go into our breakout rooms. So uh, Nicole, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and take it from here, that would be wonderful. Happy Friday. Sure, thanks, Julia. Uh, so I have a couple things to share with you guys. Um, I'm from the Arts Council of Lake Oswego. I know most everybody here, so um, it's always good to see you. And we are located at 41B, so we're directly across from Rite Aid. We moved a couple months ago, but uh, the gallery is open and we're observing and um, enforcing all the, the safety protocols that we need to have in place. So everybody needs to wear a mask. They need to uh, sanitize their hands. We are doing contract, contact tracing, all that good stuff as people come into the gallery. And we can have up to uh, 10 people total in the gallery space at this moment. So uh, that's about seven people in the gallery too. So. That's a good amount of people. And we have a show which will open uh, next Friday, the 2nd, um, and it is photographs by Rory Doyle. And they are of the Delta Hill Riders from uh, rural Mississippi. And you can see a couple of those pieces um, over installed as part of Gallery Without Walls um, at Westlake Fire Station. So it was on the front page of the review yesterday. Um, and those pieces are really amazing. So we're gonna have the full suite of photographs of that whole series um, coming up next week. But before that, we have our annual celebration of the new sculptures that have gone in. So 14 new pieces have gone in throughout the city. 13, we're waiting on 14, but it's coming. Uh, and we are super excited because there's some really cool stuff this year as always. And so I just wanted to um, let you know about our celebration that's coming up on Sunday and hope that you will join us. And I have a fun little video too with that includes a couple of our artists. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you guys really briefly. And there we go. So can everybody see that? That says virtually celebrate suite. Okay, excellent. It works, yay. Uh, so this Sunday, the 27th at 3 p.m., we are going to be holding our annual celebration. It's gonna be online and you can sign up. You can go directly to our website, artscouncillo.org. And there's an icon right there on the home page where you can sign up. It is a webinar, so you do need to sign up beforehand, and then you'll get a link. It's on Zoom, all that good stuff. So, again, we have 14 new choices this year, um, really varied and beautiful works. Um, we have, um, and we're actually going to have our artists, a um, couple of the artists that are in the photos here will be speaking in the video really briefly. So, we've got uh, fantastic uh, interviews with our artists. Um, a couple of them will be speaking live. We'll be thanking all of our donors. Um, and if you are a, a donor to our program, you get a special gift and um, information on that will be coming out later this week, um, later today. And so it's just really fun because it's a great way to connect with the community, um, talk more about the pieces that come in each year and see what's going on. So again, you can sign up at artscouncillo.org. Again, it's just gonna be an hour long, so three to four, and we really look forward to seeing you there. So now what I'm gonna do is um, bring up the video really quickly and get that going for you. And just, we tested this a little while ago, so I want to make sure that it still works, so. I'm J.D. Perkin, and the piece, this piece behind me is Synergos. It's a Greek term meaning roughly synergy. It's public art, it's out in the open, and it's, people get to see the work, and I think, you know, I've, I, I always want people to see my work. 
and it's a great it's great exposure too. So that's all helps helps me and helps you. I hope so it's it's uh, it's it's a surprise and uh, people happen by it oftentimes accidentally and it's something that uh, they are intending to go see them and then it just it's it's there. But I think that surprise element is uh, is something that I hope. You know, they'll, they're used to walking by here and seeing this em empty pedestal for a little bit, and then they're going to walk by. And you know, it's going to be kind of, I hope, a delight. It'll, it'll make them look twice and stuff. You know? And so I think it's important to change things up in our environment a little bit and add some, you know, some aesthetic elements. And, you know, I, again, that's what's great about this uh, uh, series that you do is. Uh, you know, you, you swap them out, you know, and so it's always changing and rotating. So, uh, you know, it's a community thing, and I think it's really important. <laughs> Teresa White, Dependent Arising Alba Lemming. Uh, well, I lived in this community for a very short time, about a year and a half, with my family, and my family lives here. I actually really love Lake Oswego. So, this is bronze, and it's a steel base. Uh, this piece is about interconnection and interdependence. It's a, it's a conversation about um, ideas about survival and um, the fact that we all rely on each other for survival. The, my nephews can walk down the street and see something beautiful and um, get inspired and wonder about the world and um, be interested in how things could be if the brain was expanded a little bit more. Since they look up a little bit, I mean, I just have a very short paragraph about um, kind of my concepts around this piece, and uh, I would love it if anyone had interest if they looked into that because I do think that the ideas uh, are hopefully bringing in a native perspective on the Pacific Crest and even bringing in a, a native uh, conversation around thank you so much i'm super excited and i'm very grateful to all of you and the arts council so that's that's all the information for um our celebration on Sunday and we hope you can join us. So that's just a small taste of what we'll be talking about. We've interviewed all the different artists and um, they will be talking about their work and it'll be a really fun time. So we, we can't do it in person, but that doesn't mean we can't have a great time and celebrate. Excellent. Does anybody have any questions for Nicole? If so, raise your hand. Nicole, I missed it. The gentleman talking about the first sculpture, the Doc Brown looking guy. Yeah. Uh, where's he from? Is he local? Yeah, he's from here in Portland. Um, and he has had a piece in the uh, rotating pieces um, a few years ago. I didn't, it was before I got here, but it was called The Boxer. And I believe it was maybe on A in front of City Hall or close to City yeah. Hall. So he has participated over the years. Um, He's also a painter. Uh, Teresa White, the second artist, she is new this year. Uh, we have had her work in a gallery show prior uh, a couple years ago, but um, this was the first piece of public art. She really worked with um, Mike Surrey, who is one of our installation folks, to figure out how does she scale her piece up to make it public art. Um, and it's really, it's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece. It's right on A. So if you have a chance, um, go by and take a look at it. All right. Does anybody have any questions about uh, the Arts Council or the upcoming, T Tamaya, go ahead. Yeah, so I just, my question is, first of all, nice presentation and I'm excited. Um, and then are there gonna be any tours or like how are you guys handling tours and such? I mean, I know that obviously with social distancing, it's probably not easy, but is there an alternative that you're doing now? 
so what we're doing for instead of like a guided tour what with docents and everything because that just i mean everybody has to be so close to be able to make that happen and that's just that's just putting people in a situation we don't want to do so um, what we are doing and offering is the brochure you can always pick up outside our um, office and it's always available there's an exterior um, sign it or exterior little spot that you can get it we do also have um, we're in the process of printing the new brochure so we have a little um, handout too that has just the 14 new pieces this year and then also what we have is a very cool um, it's like an app but it's a mobile website which we which has everything online and it has actually a little bit more information than you might see just on the the label that's on the piece. So people can text um, GWW, and I'll put this in the chat. Um, they can text GWW to a 503 number, they get a link back, and then it geolocates you if you're out right then and lets you know what pieces are around you. And again, it gives you really good extensive information. So people can take good self guided tours um, at this point. But yeah, we just aren't offering any tours that are led by any of our docents right at the moment. Well, I mean, the, the little geo mapping thing sounds cool too. So I'll have to check that out. Um, last question is how do people, um, you know, what's the process for somebody to sponsor a piece? So sponsorship of a piece, um, all of our pieces, um, we try and get sponsored over the years. Um, Matt Chrisman has been a sponsor in the past. Um, who else on here has been a sponsor? Mm, nobody. Um, <laughs> so what you can do is um, it's a $2,000 sponsorship over two years. Uh, you can divide that up in a number of different ways. And what that does is your name then goes on the plaque uh, that's on the piece. It goes in that mobile website. Um, there, It's linked on our website. And then this uh, celebration that we have there's a VIP kind of section of that. And as a sponsor, you get a special thank you gift. So, you know, we really try and help people out um, and be very appreciative. But this helps support the, the program, you know, printing of the brochure, all that kind of stuff. And there's also, we do ads in the brochure as well. We started that a couple of years ago. Uh, and so if anyone is interested in an ad, there still is room. So it's good for your business because it's good for a whole year. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, thank you, Nicole, for sharing with us about the Arts Council today. And we look forward to searching out and seeing all the new um, sculptures as well as the permanent pieces. So thank you for that.